This is Shelley Taylor reporting for RSNA News. I'm here at RSNA headquarters with Dr. Charles Kahn, RSNA Radiology Informatics Committee Chair. Dr. Kahn, what are your goals for the Radiology Informatics Committee in 2020, especially related to emerging technologies and digital imaging? So one of the things that uh, our committee is organizing is an artificial intelligence competition. So we've collected uh, a group of more than 30,000 exams from four different institutions, three different countries in fact, um, and have annotated them by a group of more than 60 radiologists who've put in just a huge amount of time over the, the past uh, several months. And we're going to be able to use those uh, uh, to, uh, as the basis for a competition that uh, people will develop algorithms to try to detect the abnormality, which in this case is going to be intracranial hemorrhage, bleeding within the brain. And uh, they'll be able to use that to uh, focus their algorithms and, and test these AI models on the data sets that we've developed. Great. So in what other ways is RSNA leading the charge to ensure AI continues to enhance the work that radiologists do? So one of the other exciting things this year is the AI showcase. We have more than 100 companies that specifically are developing uh, products in artificial intelligence and they'll be uh, in a particular a new hall within the uh, McCormick Place and a chance for people to see all that as well and connected with that will be um, our uh, uh, other offerings. We have a deep learning uh, classroom that is being developed by RSNA volunteers, be run by radiologists and, and uh, radiology scientists and uh, it'll allow people to learn how deep learning actually works. They'll be able to try out and build uh, deep learning systems and uh, learn, explore some of that and get a better understanding of, of uh, the relevance of AI. It's not only uh, the notion that AI is used for detection of abnormalities and is somehow going to replace radiologists. We don't believe that's the case. We really think AI is going to be productive in helping radiologists do their job more effectively. It's going to do help in, in everything from selecting imaging procedures to uh, selecting the imaging protocols for how those exams are performed, um, for uh, how the images are displayed, on a, a PAX workstation, doing detection or prioritization of images, uh, helping with diagnosis, and then helping even with the communication of those results and connecting that to, to our referring colleagues and, and to our patients. Well, speaking of RSNA 2019, what other things are you looking forward to at the meeting related to emerging technologies? Oh, there's a, a large number of things going on at, at the annual meeting that will make it very exciting. We'll have uh, 61 refresher courses in informatics alone at the meeting, including a number of hands-on courses. And of course, there's going to be a big presence, uh, particularly for artificial intelligence at the meeting, not only within the informatics track, but also within many of the clinical mm -hmm. tracks as well. Um, there's a lot of work that's very exciting that's being done in 3D printing and uh, there'll be a number of refresher courses that are going on there as well as a 3D printing showcase and a, uh, a variety of uh, exhibits that are related to it. All right, thank you Dr. Khan. You can find more news at rsna.org news.